I should have known. <laughs> How could I not? I should have known. Yes? The stranger. The stranger, I've brought your tea. Uh, yes. Do come in. Do come in. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. And I've also brought your mail. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Ma'am? My letter opener. Oh, it's fallen down. Oh. Here you are, ma'am. Oh, lovely. Thank you. I don't know why, I'm just getting so absent-minded at the moment. I've misplaced my embroidered handkerchief and just yesterday I, I, I was looking for my ring. Oh, I'm sure they'll turn up somewhere, ma'am. Yes, yes. Anyway, I've got better things to do. Yes, ma'am. I want to write today. That's, that's wonderful, ma'am. I'm feeling a bit inspired. This chair. Your, your chair, ma'am. Mm. Are you sure you wouldn't be more comfortable, perhaps, writing at your writing desk? Don't you worry about me. I love this chair. It's so comfortable. It's so warm. I feel... I feel more inspired here. Begging your pardon, ma'am. Thank you for worrying about me. And thank you for the tea. Yes, ma'am. Bless you. Miss Granger, the pleasure is all mine. I have long been a close admirer of your writings. I have read everything you have ever written. I especially love the romantic interludes between your heroine Cecilia and the injured Captain Rupert, because I too am a hopeless romantic. This is some sort of joke. Time for this nonsense. I've got better things to do. <sighs> Captain Rupert, watch the first fingers of sunlight creep over Cecilia's sleeping face. Captain Rupert, had sworn to stay ever by her side and protect her. I will protect you. Protect you from people like me. I have used all my skills to craft a chair for you like no other. I've carved a space inside to hold myself. I will watch over you this way as your captain watches over Cecilia. Feel my legs hold you, my arms to embrace, my flesh to warm you on bitter nights when your red hibiscus tea is not enough. Get out. 
out! Get out! Go! Get out! Get out! No!